Hey, what is up my familia? My name is Isaac and welcome to Layers of Fear, a very well known indie horror game that came out in 2016. Now, I've had played the game before, but I thought I'd revisit the game and share my gaming, ex you know, my experience of the game in my YouTube channel. So I wanted to do that just because, you know, I did that with Cry of Fear. I wanted to do the same with Layers of Fear because honestly, Layers of Fear is a very good indie horror game and I wanted to revisit it. Alright guys, but before we continue, if you guys like the video, please make sure to hit that like button. And if you guys want to see more of the content, you guys like the content and you want to support the channel, make sure to hit that red rectangular subscribe button. It would really mean a lot to me. Also, I'm pretty open to playing new games, so if you guys have any suggestions that you guys want me to check out, leave a comment down below. You know, I'm open to check out new games, old games, you know, games that I've played already or, you know, games that I've never played. I'm pretty open so if you guys have any suggestions and you guys want to see you know want me to check out your games in the future make sure to hit that subscribe button all right guys and here we go let's play new game yes I'm gonna we're gonna start brand fresh new here we go I know how you must feel lost okay. alone I mean that's not Hopeless. what I'm feeling, but you feel probably like you're reflecting it. how you're feeling towards me. But even for you, there is still a way. A way to bring it all back. Hmm. The one precious thing you ever truly desired. To reach 100 subscribers? Finish yeah. it. Finish it? Alright guys, you heard the man. I want to reach 100 subscribers. I, I, this can only happen if you guys hit that subscribe button. That's something that I'm... Is it weird to say a desire to hit 100 subscribers? No, that's not weird. I want to hit 100 subscribers. And he says to, to, to desire what you truly want. And I want 100 subscribers. So make sure to hit that subscribe button. Alright, let's go. So, we've entered this really quite... This game, till this date, still looks pretty freaking cool. For a 2016 game... It looks like a baby butt picture. Look at that baby butt picture. I, I just love the amount of detail that this game has. From like little books on the table. The little scarf or whatever. Little shirt just thrown on the on the chair or sofa chair. And just look at it. It's just the detail that I really like. Oh, look. Little shoes. Hey. They're cute. Little baby shoes. They're actually kind of ugly. I'm not gonna lie. Who, who, who thought this was a good color? You know, they got a stain on the bottom. Gross. Okay, well, let's put the ugly shoes down. Okay, let's go. Oh yes, that realistic feel. I like that. Look at this hauntingly beautiful house. Haunting because we're gonna be experiencing a lot of memories here. Look at that. Look at this. Look at the detail, look at the table, it looks like a very nice table. Hey, there's a note right here. Uh, Dear sir, we would like to ask you to cease bothering our pest control specialists, as well as refrain from sending us any more of your highly inappropriate letters. I'll have you know that my mother is a respectable woman and does not take kindly to such accusations. All of our employees that visited your house reported absolutely no signs of rodent infestation of any kind, and as such decided not to act further than a prophylactic spraying. What the heck is prophylactic spraying? Please treat this letter as a final warning, or else this next envelope you'll receive will be from our lawyers. With best regards, Carl Denton. Pesky pest pet. Pe Pesky Pet Pesky Pets Pacification Co. Holy crap, I can't say that. Yeah, Carl Denton is the type of guy to you know threaten you with lawyers. What a wuss. Okay, let's go. Hello, how do we get out of here? Here we go. Okay. So it seems like our guy here was complaining about some uh, rat infestation problems, but there seems to be no actual rat infestation. Whoa, that look cool. No rat infestations at all. Um I'm assuming this belongs to a dog called Popkull? Popkull? Okay. Kitchen. Ooh, yeah, something was going on in here. Look at that. Somebody dropped a champagne bottle there. Ooh. Look at all this. Close. 
closed. Okay, we don't have a light right now, so we can't really see in here. Okay. Okay. All right, I'm getting a little bit sidetracked right here. Let's uh, let's go. We're gonna have to go upstairs. Oh wait a minute. There, there's a couple of notes in here, I believe. Who the heck left us synced on? The freaking water bill is gonna be insane. Oh, come on, man. The water ain't free. There we go. One time below knee prosthesis. How? What, what? What the hell? Uh, how the hell did they fuck up the length? Okay. He was mad about how big his prosthetic leg is. Now he's gonna walk in even. Okay, let, uh, let's go, let's go, let's go. Oh, wait a minute, yeah, yeah, there's a note right here. Sir, I didn't touch the workshop, just like you asked. Although I can't imagine the mess that's inside. Also, if you care so much for that room, maybe you should pay more attention to where you'll leave the keys. I brought them back to your office. Have a nice day. Okay, so we're gonna have to... Mm, yeah, let's not go down there. That's the basement. I don't really like basements. What the heck was that? Alright, so let's go to our office. So we can get the key. So we can access... Access the room. What the hell was that? Uh, spooky dark in here. The monkey man picture. Monkey man picture. Okay, we got the keys. Oh, look, a little bit of Riley Hood uh, drawing. Pretty graphic. Yeah, what? Holy crap. All oh, right. All right, well, let's go. We've obtained the key. So now we're gonna have access to a room. I do want to go explore the other room, the other rooms, but not right now. Uh, I, okay, that something was going on over there, but I don't care for it. Uh, I was actually looking for the set of stairs, and here we are. So we can go to the room. Okay, let's go in there and start. Oh yes. The room. You know, before we uh, go straight to the painting, let's check out the room here. Yep, you know this. Uh, this in the art world would sell for like maybe one point five million dollars. They they would just be like, oh my god, there's stains on that chair, like very neo and faded colors on it. It's very artistic, very crazy. Oh my god, this is worth one point five million dollars. I feel like sometimes art is just silly. There's some paintings in that that just they kind of look really. I don't know. I'm I'm sure you guys have seen some paintings that are just like what, like there was a I read that there was like a there was a painting, a like a, a painting of a single red black dot I think in the middle of the painting, and it sold for a lot of money. It was something like that, and I'm just like w why would that sell for a lot? It's just a canvas that has a single dot. In the middle of the canvas, it, it was something like that. Don't take my word for it, but there's some pa some paintings out there that are just kind of you look at it and you're like, how is that worth 2.5 or 10 million dollars? You just like that. that I could have done that crap, <laughs> you know. Uh, okay, but anyways, let's go. Let's begin. Here we go. The beginning of something good, spooky and scary. Um, I think we're gonna have to... Oh, there's a note here. Lost. You deserve it. Finish it. Alright. Do we have to apply some paint to it right now, or... There's something in here that we have to apply the painting, or are we just gonna get out? Ooh, no, 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 no. I'm so sick and tired of us talking through these notes. We live in the same house, for God's sakes. Come talk to me when you're done, before you go to sleep. Okay. Okay, I think we actually just start to, uh... 
Here we go. What the hell was that? Get it right this time. Dang, okay, chill, Mr. Wall. Here we go, guys. And so we begin. I really enjoy how the change of environment does in this game. It's really cool. Oh man, somebody left the window freaking open and the rain got inside, dude. Oh Jesus Christ, I wanted to read what the frick did it say? Okay. Alright, well I mean, uh, can I at least get a mop so I can clean this up? You know, if this is wooden floors, bro. It's gonna be really expensive to replace it and I don't have the money for that. Alright, whatever. We'll just let the water destroy the wooden floors. go. What was it with that lag? Now well, let's leave that on here. I'm very quite fond of the light. I, I really like the light. It's really good. Going in circles with a bunch of broken champagne or wine bottles on the... Dude, come on, man. Who was the asshole that broke the freaking bottles of wine on my couch, dude? Dude, it's gotta be expensive as frick to clean... Clean my couch. Okay, let's go. Ooh. There's a note right here, I think. Nope. Never mind. Oh, that's right. We have to open this. And I remember where. You guys will show me the numbers. Show me the numbers. Oh, wait. I think I have to do... This. Show me the numbers. 4085 485 Let's go! Look at that. We're freaking professional hackers or professional locksmiths. The thought alone that the most beautiful piece of art doesn't have my name on it is killing me. So, so will you marry me? What a simp. The corniest thing anybody could say, honestly. Past holds back. Look closer. The past holds back. Look closer. I mean, can we take the diamond ring, y'all? I don't know. Maybe it's like sell it on eBay or something. Well, I mean, there's no eBay during this period of time, but I mean, we can get some money out of it. Never forget. Never forget what? I don't know. Let's go. That's spooky. Oh my god, you know how much this chair would be worth? 3.5 million dollars just because of like, look at the coloring on it. God, it, it just speaks volumes of art. You know, this chair would sell crazy amounts of monies. Ooh. Hey, this is kind of cozy. We got a little fire right here. Warming up a little bit. That's a pretty cool study room. Something on the ground here. Is it a note? I don't think so. Okay, I do remember that there's like a switch here. Oh, Jesus Christ! <sighs> Fuck. When are we gonna get a lantern? Wait, do we even get a lantern? Dust mice. Even, wait, let me actually get this. Dust mice, even in my lungs, grotesque, vermin dirt, there's always more. Okay. Light switch, turn it on. I remember. I remember! The scary old lady! Holy shit, I forgot about that. Hi. Huh. There's a note right here. Oh my god, quite the long notes here. My love, even though you have not been born yet, I can already feel your presence. It's simply amazing. I just can't believe how lucky I am. A year ago, all I had was talent and ambition. 
Now, against all odds, I have a career, a loving husband, and you. I have never been deeply religious. I have never been a really deeply religious person. I guess what other people look for in a sermon. I found it. I found imperfect. I found it perfecting my art. But now I can't help but feel like there's higher power watching over me. They once told me that I would never succeed as a musician. Now I'm playing sold-out concerts in some of the most prestigious venues in the country. They also said I had a difficult character and that I would never find a soulmate. Guess again. Finally, a doctor once told me that I would never be able to have children of my own. And yet, here you are within me. I'm quite possibly the happiest woman in the world. I love you so much. That's a good note here. You know, don't listen. Here's my. Here's something that I. I want to just kind of say, if anybody tells you you can't do anything, don't listen to them. Follow your gut, do your grind, follow your passion. I don't know, something like that. I was trying to be motivational and inspirational, but I did a really bad job of it. <laughs> now I just feel kind of cringy. All right, well, let's go. Let's get out of here. Hmm. Long, spooky, long door. <laughs> corridors. I know. Paint deep lies. Paint leap deep lies. What? Okay, seems like there was some, uh, something happening here. I want a rat. Did, you stupid rat. You walked into the fire. I know what's behind me. I'm not afraid. Oh my god. I knew that was gonna happen, but the freaking <laughs> still got me a little bit right there. Okay. So, what are we supposed to do here? Hmm. I think we're just supposed to get out of here. Maybe we're supposed to grab something in here? Guess not. Okay, well, let's go. Ooh. Hey, this is a nice little study. A little chill out room. I like it. Very nice. It's a crying lady. Hey, it's okay. Everything's gonna be alright. Don't worry about it, you know? Pain is temporary. Problems are temporary. You don't you don't have to worry about it. Just you know? All right, bye, scary crying lady. Okay, let's go. It's really dark. Are we ever? I don't know if we get like a light, like a light or something, like a like a flashlight or something. I don't know if we get one. All I know is that it's really freaking dark. You can't see anything, and I don't like it. At the kitchen, let's go. Are we gonna make some snacks? Make a sandwich? Hmm, it's locked. Okay, we have to do. I think we're gonna have to do something with this weight. I think. Maybe I'm wrong. What the fuck? What the hell is going on? Holy crap. Okay, are we supposed to... Are we now able to go to the closet? Hi! Holy sh... Ha! Well, at least we don't have to go to the store and get vegetables anymore. We got a limited source of vegetables coming off this painting. That's pretty cool. First, I looked for a canvas. 
Not just any canvas. I had to find a knife. Not one of those bread ones. It needed to be as sharp as a razor. So I used a razor, in fact, and then carefully flayed the skin. Mm. Booze helped keep my hand steady. Nice, we've obtained a piece of uh, skin. And now we're gonna be applying that to our painting. Close that door. There we go. Mm hmm. Sheepless dreams. Okay, um, let's look at the notes, see if anything changed. Hate, even now. Lost, you deserve it. Finish it. Okay. Um, I don't know if the game automatically saved in here. I think it did. Um, so you know what? This is a good stopping point. Uh, I think I'm gonna just stop it. I'll stop the episode every time we circled around the house and we come back to this little area of, you know, us applying to the painting. Uh, but I, hopefully it's saved. I don't know if it did. I didn't see like a save sequence. All right, well, I do want to say thank you so much for watching. If you guys enjoyed the video, please make sure to hit that like button. If you guys want to support the channel, you like the content and you want to see more, please make sure to hit that subscribe button. I would greatly appreciate it. I am trying to reach 50 subscribers and I am 17 subscribers away from reaching my goal. So I would greatly appreciate it if you guys could help me with that. Or if you're already subscribed and you want to help out, if you guys could share the, you know, a video that you like or my channel, anything like that would be very, very much appreciated. Again, thank you so much for watching. Thank you for hanging out with me. It really means a lot to me. And I will see you guys later. Bye-bye.